All right, so this wiring harness is pretty hacked up. As you can see, it's just cut off on this end. And this is for an automatic 1G DSM. Um, I believe it is a 91 to 94 style. So because it's an automatic, you have these extra connectors right here that go to the automatic transmission. Down here, these are the connectors that go to the actual computer. So these are the three that go to the computer, and right next to that is the MPI relay connector. So you can see, these are, these are all the important wires that make everything work. The black with yellow goes to the starter, the black with green goes to the fuel pump, black and red is power, which you'll see in my diagram, um, which you can find in the link in the description of the video. Um, but let me kind of show you where these go. So let's start with a black with a red. Black with red cruises down the harness. Then here is the bulkhead connector, like where it goes through the firewall. And then you can come up here and you get to this. And this used to go to some fuses in, uh, I think it was actually attached to the battery maybe. Um, and you can see the black with the red wire right here. This is the same black with red that goes into the MPI relay. And then if you come down here and go up this one a little bit, you can see this connector. And these are the black with yellow. Both of these are actually connected together deeper in the harness. But these are the ones that go to the starter um, and I think a few other things. You'll have to check the diagram. But yeah, black with yellow is right here. And let's see what else is there. The black with green is the fuel pump. So wherever that goes, uh, I don't actually recall where that goes. It's some connector somewhere in here, but it's the fuel pump wire. And if you were to just basically like snip it off right here, or if you take all the tape off the harness, you can just pull it out and you can run it right to the fuel pump. Uh, let's see. So that's black with yellow, black with red. Oh yeah, black with white. That is this connector. So we'll cruise on down the, the harness so you can kind of follow along. So it's on the inside of the car. So it's over this way. This connector right here has some good stuff on it too. So you'll see right in the middle of the bottom of it is the black with white. And that is the one that goes to like all kinds of stuff. It goes to the ignition coil um, and it powers up the whole harness. So you need to feed that one some power. You usually just pull it out of this connector and hook it up to um, I think it's ignition ignition voltage, if I recall correctly off the top of my head. So yeah, ignition vol voltage there. I think the black with red is straight to a fuse. I think it's a 20 amp fuse off the top of my head. Uh, black and yellow goes to the starter. And I think that's about it. The only other thing that you have to, I think, hook up is... I don't think you have to hook up any of these other ones on this. The only other one to make the computer power up is the red. And I'm pretty sure that's in this connector, though I kind of forget, to be honest. But yeah, there's a red wire that goes to the computer that you have to you have to get some power to, I believe. You'll have to check the diagram to be sure, but hopefully this helps you out. One more thing that I forgot to mention is the best way to figure out where all these wires go and which wires are connected is to use a digital voltmeter. Um, you set it to ohms. And you can use the Harbor Freight red one that everybody has. Uh, this one is just one I've had for a million years when I was actually working as a technician. But you set it to ohms. You take both connectors. And I'll try and do this with one hand. So let's see. So we'll go with the, um, how about the black and yellow wire? So let me see if I can do this. So we'll put black and yellow right here like that. I'm going to try and hold the camera at the same time. And then we'll go down here to this black and yellow. And wait, can I do this? Let's see. You'll see the meter no longer reads OL. If I go like this and disconnect the meter, then it's out of limits. So basically the, the connection is not there. But you can basically connect any two wires that you think are connected and it will go to zero rather than OL. Um, you're basically just showing continuity or a connection between one end of the wire and the other. So you can basically 
connect any two wires together and see if they are actually the same wire or not. So anyways, hopefully that helps you out. Uh, let me know.